Hello class, welcome to pre-algebra lesson 3-5, which is all about adding and subtracting like fractions. By the, end of the, uh, by the end of this lesson, you should be able to add and subtract rational numbers as common denominators. So let's look at example 1. If we want to find the sum of 1 eighth plus 5 eighths, let's quickly review what those would look like visually. So if this is something cut into 8 slices, Sorry, it's not a very pretty drawing. Um, and I want one eighth of it. That means here's my one eighth. And then I'm also going to color in five eighths as well. So one, two, three, four, five. So my final answer, you could see how many of those pieces are filled in. That would be six of the... 8, or if you simplify that, which you should always do, 6 over 8 becomes 3 over 4 as a final answer. Okay, so then what I want you guys to do is I want you to look at this next problem on your own. Notice all that we did was we did 1 plus 5. And the reason we were able to do that is because our denominators, the numbers on the bottom, are the same. Okay, so all you have to do, add the top. So 15 49ths plus 13 49ths equals what? Hopefully you ended up all the way at 4 over 7, but if not, hopefully you got to at least 28 over 49 because that tells me that you are adding correctly. You just haven't quite mastered the simplifying yet. All right, example two, what if we're adding mixed numbers. So again, notice my denominators are the same. Okay, so that's great. That means I can still add the tops of my fractions. So I have six sevenths, but then I'm also going to add my whole numbers, four plus two, which is six. So my answer is six and six sevenths. Okay, so you add your whole numbers together and you add your fractions together. This one I'm going to show you because it's a little trickier. So if I take my whole numbers, I have negative 1 plus 5. And then, just so you know, when you are adding the fractions, this also stays as a negative. So I'm going to say negative 5 twelfths plus 11 twelfths. So if I add my whole numbers together, I get 4. And if I add my two fractions together, a negative 5 plus 11 is 6 twelfths, or 1 half. So my final answer would be 4 and 1 half. So you need to be really careful whenever there's a negative in front of that first fraction because that needs to go with both the whole number and the fraction. All right, what if we start talking about differences or subtracting? The same idea works. If your numbers are the same, your denominators are the same, which, fun fact, everything in the lesson today has the same denominator. All you're going to do is subtract your top number. So 9 minus 5 is 4 over 10. You're never going to do 10 minus 10, okay? Because if you ever do that, you have 0 on the bottom. You can't have 0 on the bottom. Same with adding. You don't. You never actually add the bottom of the fraction, okay? Um, so that number always stays the same. Getting back to the 4 over 10, if you reduce that, they're both divisible by 2, and it would become 2 over 5. I want you to try this problem on your own. Make sure you pay attention to um, negatives, okay? Good luck. Hopefully you realize 11 minus 21 is going to give you a negative 10 over 50 or a negative 1 over 5 once you simplify it. All right, example 4. Now we're going to subtract along with our mixed numbers. So when you are subtracting with mixed numbers, you have a couple of options. 
right away we're going to start with, you notice how this number is bigger? We're doing a bigger minus a smaller. That's easy. When you do a big minus a small, it's not that tricky. You're going to do your whole number minus your whole number. So 4 minus 3. And then you're going to do your fractions. You have 5 sevenths minus 1 seventh. So 5 sevenths minus 1 seventh equals 4 sevenths. So your answer is 1 and 4 sevenths. That's it. That's your final answer. However, if we move on to this problem, it's a little trickier. Because notice we have a number minus something bigger. So whenever that happens, you want to be extra careful. And so if I do negative 2 minus 7, I get negative 9. And then remember, I have negative 11 twelfths minus 5 twelfths. Negative 11 minus 5 is negative 16 twelfths. And if I simplify that, that would be negative 1, because 12 goes into 16 one time, with 4 left over. And then that 4 twelfths would become 1 third. So now I have another mixed number, right? So what you're going to do this time is you say negative 9 minus 1 and a third. You just end up combining those. Negative 10 and 1 third is your final answer. All right, now let's try another one. We have 9 minus 6, so 9 minus 6 is 3. And then we have 1 sixth minus 4 sixth. 1 minus 4 is negative 3 sixth, or negative 1 half. So now when I combine these numbers, I have 3 minus one half, or an answer that is two and one half, right? If you have three and you're taking away a half, you'd end up at two and a half, okay? If you have any questions at all, please do not hesitate to ask for some help. I'm more than happy to help you. I hope you guys have a great day.